Hey, what's up, guys? This is Woody Geek. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Sam and Max The Penal Zone. In the last episode, we got the Crime Tron to the cops, but we lacked the proper means of finding anything out with it. In this, in this episode, we're going to try and find some more evidence. But before we go into Stinky's Diner, which is where the next, you know, piece of evidence is, we're going to enter Skunkape's flagship, because we actually need to do something there first. Alright, let's go to the upper deck. Knock, San knock Max into the air. And let's go into the mole processing chamber. Hey, Brain, can you open this door for us? You want to go into the mole processing room? But it's a horrible place! Official business. Besides, it's for mole people only. Perfect! We're part mole man! Odd, you don't look molish. By marriage. There were rituals. Very well. I will try. Welcome. Yeah, let's do it. Congratulations. Prepare yourself for a fabulous off-world vacation courtesy of General Skunkape. I'm very excited. <laughs> Why aren't there any doors? You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. Slight tingle? Whoa, hey now! vacation I want to keep doing this error cannot remove inventory where do you keep your personal items it's none of your damn business computer very well beginning mole man processing Sam why is the floor so slippery for the comfort of guests waiting outside please refrain from screaming or crying out do you smell something burning Sam why haven't we ever seen any mole people come out of here? Da -da. Enjoy the rest of your experience, and remember that your sacrifice is for the glory of General Skunkabe. Sacrifice? Are we going to die, Sam? Depends on whether we can think of a way out of this death trap, little buddy. And we're completely stuck in here, and Sam is jittering around like crazy. Okay, guess what we gotta do? Teleportation. Let's teleport to Stinky's Diner because it's the uh, it's the closest thing we have available to us. Well, save for Sybils, but it's easier to go to Stinky's. All right, now that we have everything set up on Skunkopy's flagship, you'll see what I mean in a bit. Actually, let's look at our inventory. You'll notice that none of our stuff is here anymore, and that means Stinky's cell phone is, you know, back where all our stuff was taken to in that box in outside of the mole processing chamber. And look, it's Grandpa Stinky. Not even the freelance police can put me in a bad mood today. Do your worst. Oh, new thing! <laughs> it is pretty cool, isn't it? But don't touch! And no animals on the counter. Uh why are you back here? How's life as a multimillionaire, Grandpa Stinky? So you're starting to regret handing over that ticket, are you? I almost feel bad taking it from you. But consider it a life lesson. You're gonna be a lot more clever to outsmart an old salt like Stinky. What are you gonna do with all the money? Oh, I already gave it away. You what? To General Skunkape. Haven't you heard him talk about the big plans he has for the planet? Inspiring. And since he made me his second in command, I never have to worry about money again! Okay. Can we have that homing bacon? Isn't that brooch a little fancy pants for you, Grandpa Stinky? Taint a brooch, you cretin! It's a badge of honor! General Skunkapi was so grateful for my donation that he made me his second in command! Well, that's a shame. Skunk Ape's a total dillweed, Grandpa Stinky. We're placing him under arrest. Well, we're getting around to it. Eventually. Traitors! I knew it! Just wait until the General hears about this! Do you know where he is? Well, no. I'm not supposed to go near him. But you two are in for a world of hurt once he gets my memo. Well, that didn't work. Let's try the other option. 
We've had a sudden change of heart. We think Skunk Ape is awesome. Where do we sign up to join the Skunk Ape Army? You two? In the Skunk Ape Army? Don't make me laugh. We're really good at not making people laugh. Why can't we be in the Skunk Ape Army? For starters, have you ever actually hit anything with that gun of yours, Fido? Hey! Now that's just not nice. And as for Harvey here, he'll be a fine soldier until we run into a you must be this tall to invade this planet sign. Uh-oh, you made him angry. You'll notice that Stinky is now holding on to Max. I'd better get out of here before things get violent. And you remember that anyone touching Max can be teleported. Let's teleport to Stinky Cell. Get your hands off me! Oh, what have you done? Welcome back. Thank you for bringing friends along to celebrate the benevolence of General Skunkape. You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. No one's taken my personal gold and griddles! For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Abort! For the love of Skunkape, abort! Voice print verified. Skunkape Army Sous Chef, 8th Class. Processing aborted. Sous Chef? 8th Class? After all I've done for that ungrateful monkey, he can keep his bloody hands off of my butt and pant. I was expecting a little more of a rave to come out of uh, Stinky, but let's get the stuff out of this personal effects chamber. Looks like Grandpa Stinky's stuff got mixed in with all of mine. What has he got in his pockets? His victory badge from Skunk Ape and... Jackpot! A collectible shot glass from Mista Pizza! Sweet! Wait, why is that important? Eh, whatever. Uh... Let's see... I don't think we have the right materials for this just yet, if I'm remembering right anyway. Actually, yes we do, if we do one more thing. Let's teleport to Bosco Tech. Because what we need is actually right in front of us at Bosco Tech. No visitors! What the? Ah, oh, snap. Hey, you guys can't do that to me. Looks to me like we just did. At least give me back my sidekick. You'll get the rabbit once Jerome's done working him over. Time. Hey, can I go in? Hey, Space Gorilla. You're kind of blocking the door there. Mind if we scooch on by? We're closed. Looks open to me. Beat it. But my little buddy's trapped inside. Oh, hey, hey, Max. Didn't expect that to happen. Because what we actually need to do is keep Max inside there and then go off adventuring with Sam. Just like what we were about to do with, uh, with Grandpa Stinky. No visitors. He's just sprawled out on the street for no reason. At least that's what the animation reminded me of. Anyway, coming to the side here, we can climb the fire escape. Your paw is going through the ladders. The ladder rungs. The side of the ladders. Enigma deodorant. Smell the mystery. Smell it! Hey! Hey! Alright, Pigeon. Hand over the shiny thing and nobody has to get hurt. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, careful where you drop that thing. Well then. 
Let's see what Max is up to. Okay, can we get out of here? Uh, get back to get back to Sam. What? Hello. Two in one blow, and without any significant injuries either. Cha ching. Cha ching. All right, now I can go back into uh, into Bosco Tech. But, but before we go back inside, let's pick up that gleaming thing that the pigeon dropped. If it wasn't obvious, it was a ring. It looks like an engagement ring. It's an engagement ring. What do you know? Sam, this is all so sudden. I I don't know what to say. Quiet, Bonehead. Hmm, I've got a feeling Skunk Ape picked it up while he was out looking for toys. Oh, there's an engraving. Hard luck. Classy. Man. Why would you want to say hard luck to your fiancé? Did Max just walk through that gorilla's ass? Hey look, a thing. It's a torn receipt for something. Skunk Ape must have dropped it when he came through here. A clue! Which store? Can't tell from half a receipt, little buddy. This looks like a job for... The Crimetron. Yay! But we don't actually get to need that until later. We need two other... Uh items before we could, uh... Or at least we need to investigate two other items before we could use that receipt. Thanks for getting rid of those gorillas, Sam and Max. Uh... Destabilizer. What does that dimensional destabilizer do exactly? It opens a temporary gateway between one dimension and the next, which can pull someone from the spirit world into the real world. Or from the real world to an interdimensional prison? I suppose so. Do you think that's what Skunkape was trying to keep people from finding? I don't know. My money's still on the big screen thing. That's just cool. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. I built a remote control so you can open the gateway anywhere. It'll only stay open a few minutes, so you've got to make sure you do it right. Anybody holding something tuned to the alternate dimension will get sucked right in. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. So, does that remote look familiar? Because that's what we used at the start of the game, of a future event. Is this the remote control for your destabilizer thing, Mama Bosco? That's the one. Make sure you don't press it before you really need to, because you only get one chance. Alright, I think we're done here, so... Let's teleport. Now, I believe we have the right material, or the right stuff to uh, use the Crimetron. So let's go to the cops. And use the Crimetron. Now, this is kind of weird. You can drop a shot glass into this. Skunk Ape must have been at a Mista Pizza, but how can we know which one? Now, I think you had to drop the cell f No, it's not the cell phone. It's the... it's not that. It's not the engagement ring. Must be missing something. You discovered a new location! Never mind, it, it was the uh, cell phone. Alright, now we have the location for Mista Pizza. Let's go on there. Skunk Ape was here 20, no, 28 minutes ago. He should really get more fiber in his diet. There's got to be some clue telling us where he went next. Keep your beady little eyes open, pal. Alright, so we can try going into Mista Pizza, but this happens. Oh, hey, that was quick. Uh, you can't get taste like that from real cheese. Uh, were we supposed to be looking for clues or something? Oh, yeah. Right. Shouldn't get distracted. Anyway, we can't go into Mista Pizza. It's a closed business. But we can go back here. What a senseless waste of perfectly soiled pizza boxes. The boxes are the tastiest part! What about this pigeon? 
Looks kind of suspicious. Looks like this little fella's had his fill of Mr. Pizza's rotting remnants for one day. Can I poke his belly with a pencil and make him explode in a horrific shower of dough and anchovies? Maybe later. Alright, now it's kind of cryptic as to what you gotta do here. If you want a hint, you can use the future vision on these pizza boxes. Swallowed whole. I've never seen anything like that before. So you know that the pigeon is going to eat something out of those pizza boxes in the future. But what do you have in your inventory that can be eaten by a pigeon? You got the homing beacon, a remote control, a shot glass, a receipt, an engagement ring, and a mysterious note. Also a gun and a phone. None of these seem like anything that a pigeon would eat, right? Well, classic Sam and Max formula that has been poked at by poked of at by Sam and or Max. Try everything with everything. And eventually, this is the consensus I got to. Place this cell phone on the pizza boxes. <laughs> Hot and delicious. Dripping with rollover minutes. Swallowed whole. I've never seen anything like that before. Not since we accidentally wandered into that theater on Times Square. So now the cell phone has gone up onto the roof. Let's teleport to it. Hey, Pigeon Man. Give me that phone back. Good work, Max. Now let's see if we can... Aha! A clue! Hmm, a vintage postcard from somebody who collects old rare toys. What's the address? I don't know, Max. The name and most of the address are smudged out. This looks like a job for the Crime Tron. That's the second time he said that. Pick up that phone, Max. I'm not touching it. Ugh. I love that reaction. Alright, this is the second time he said something about a piece of evidence to take it to the Crime Tron. So, let's put those two things together. This receipt's only got part of an address, but not the name of the store. Actually, it's not the receipt. I keep forgetting that. You don't put the receipt in there. You gotta put the engagement ring with the postcard. Skunk Ape got this ring from somewhere, but the engraving just says, Hard luck. There we go. Incomplete. New location unlocked. A pawn shop. Let's head over there. Hey, Jerome. The intergalactic warlord business must be in a real slump if Skunk Ape is having to hit the pawn shops. He's tracking down magic toys, Max, and he must have found something inside if he left Gruesome there to guard the door. Intrigue! That's a thing! Let's go investigate these trash cans. <laughs> Just a bunch of food scraps and used cat litter. It'd help if I knew what I was looking for. Hmm, I wonder. What's inside the trash cans? Aha! Uh -huh, a banana peel! Well, that was hard. Let's go investigate it again. Sam! Okay, you weren't running. Aha! Uh -huh, a banana peel! We got a banana peel! This looks entirely too safe. Better move it. Still kind of looks safe. I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. Well, as you... Oops. As you know from the general comedy formula, banana plus open manhole equals comedy. What? Really? It still works? Down with skunk ape. Aliens go home. Hey. And he's gonna slip you on guys it. Really shouldn't be literate. Surprise! Oh wait, never mind. Oldest trick in the book. He didn't slip on it though. And that's what makes that joke funny. Let's enter the pawn shop. And now we have a new location in our map. No, we don't. A paddle ball toy. 
Skunk Ape must have tossed it out when he realized it wasn't magical. We've got to find what store he got it from. And as if that pan to the cops wasn't enough. Crimetron. Paddleball. I can make out part of the name of the store this came from, but no address. Same thing with the receipt, right? Success! A new destination has been revealed on your map. Toy Store! E. How are we ever gonna find Skunk Ape, Sam? All these streets look the same! Shut up, Max. They're completely different streets. It's Mole Men! Generals can copy a sweating Mole Men! Uh, spoiler warning, Harry! Jesus! <laughs> Smash your cell phones! That's how he controls you! It's Mole Men! Generals can copy you sweating! All clues lead here, but no sign of Skunk Ape. Aha! New York's lackadaisical business hours win again. But Skunk Ape will be back any second, little buddy. We'd better be ready for him. What are we gonna do once he shows up? I don't know yet. That pan out didn't help at all. Let's read this. Bob's Toys's. The extra S is for sorry about the misspelled sign. How could they put an extra S at the end of this? Unless it was intentional. Let's use future vision on it. Future vision. Okay, you can't actually do much with future vision in this uh on this area. You've got you can use it on Sam or you can use it on the window display. Let's find out what happens when we use it on Sam. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. That's yes. a bad omen. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, shit. So you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Engines to full power. Yes. Destroy the city. Look familiar? I certainly hope that you are paying attention, my friends, because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion. No longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief. Now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. The villain has made his move. The players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to... The penal zone. <laughs> and on that note, I think I'm gonna end it right here. So, hopefully you enjoyed this epi this part of uh, Sam and hey, Max Matt! season three, episode one, penal zone. Die, Earthlings! Well, Die! Skunk ape, shut up, please. I'm trying to do an outro. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is what a geek. I'll see you guys later.